we're going to set up a UV map on a boulder that we've made in Mudbox. And the first thing we're going to do is pull this boulder over into 3D Max. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go up here to File. First, we're going to select our boulder by right clicking and select Model. And we're going to go to File. And we want to export selection. And I'm going to save that to my desktop. And then we'll pull it up in the 3D Mac. All right, we pulled up 3D Max. We're going to import our boulder. Click on import. Go to your desktop, and I'm going to pull it up. And from here, we'll just click OK. And it pulled it in fairly well. So we're going to apply a material to it, hitting M on your keyboard. We're going to apply a UV map to this boulder. Unwrap UVW. And we'll open the UV editor. And we want to select the faces. And from here, we want to relax it. We're going to use this relaxer. Uh, we want to make sure that we have relax edge by edge angles. Let's start our relax. And this may take a little bit of time for yours, depending on how much it has to relax. You'll know that it's done when this button turns black back uh, the gray color that it was originally. And then apply it. And we want to scale this down because we want to get it back on to the mat here and make sure that you have some room in here. Don't get it too closest. Don't get it too close to the edges. And then we're going to open up Photoshop. And we got our texture here. We'll save that. I've already saved it. So we'll apply our textures by hitting M. And yours will look like this. And what we want to do is come down here to Maps and expand that out. And we're going to, under Diffuse Color, Bitmap, and we're going to choose our texture and apply that to the boulder and turn it on. We're going to open up our material, material editor again. And I'm going to kind of zoom into this a little bit so we can see what's going on. Now, it may not show up in the video, in the screenshot of the video as well, but when we render this boulder, it's, you can see the material on there, but it's not much texture on the boulder. It's just the material that we put on there. So we're going to add a bump map, which is right here. And we're going to apply this bump map to the boulder, and that's going to give us the impression that there's actually more modeled polys than there actually is. So in order to do that, I'm just going to do exactly what I did with the diffuse color. And I'm going to click on this. And we want to go to bitmap. And I'm going to go pull up the same material that I used for my boulder. So I've got it open here. And we can adjust this just like we do a regular material. But in order to show what this actually does, I'm going to put this number up pretty high, probably about 80. And then we'll render that out again. And you should see in yours, if you can't see it in this video, that you've got a lot of extra texture in here. And you can tell that we haven't actually changed the structure of the boulder at all. The other thing we can do is we can actually add some displacement to it. And with a displacement, we can add something instead of the picture, something like a dent. and adjust that, and that's going to change what we end up with as well. We want to put that number down quite a bit. 
re-render that. And you should be able to see on your screen a big difference in the boulder.